Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful DM to DF reading. I do hope you're well and that you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that love that is within you. And that you're taking good care of yourself because we are still in the energies of that super full moon in Capricorn and we're building up for that 777 portal, which is in a few days. Um, so things could feel really intense and the most important thing around this time is having awareness and to be able to have awareness we have to take good care of ourselves so I hope that you are taking good care of yourself so you have this awareness during this time so I'm going to be using a selection of different decks but I'm going to use the Divine Musk and Honesty and Realizations from beautiful Sandra from World Illuminator 1111 to start the reading um, thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you do give me. I am so very grateful to each one of you and thank you for the beautiful souls that have pressed that thank you button. I really do appreciate you. I'm very grateful because it does help me keep my channel up and running. And if you'd like any extra support on your journey, all the information about the services are is in the description box down below. So what is it? This physical person, your other self... Your true self wants to share and express to you mission. I now understand that you and I have an important mission here together. I'm getting ready to step into my power and make things happen so we can do what we are here to do. Yeah, so they're very aware that you have a mission. Your true self is very aware that you have a mission, that it's not just about this physical person, that this journey is about yourself. And by you having this relationship with yourself, and this physical person, you coming back together with this physical person, is going to have such a beautiful, powerful impact on this world. Setting an example, being role models, being a power couple. And you could have something in mind, you know, that you would, that you know that you're going to actually do with this physical person. But they're very aware that you have a mission and it's, it's more than the lovey-dovey stuff. Um that the ego wants to listen to so what else is it that we need to know today what this physical person your divine masculine your true self wants to show and express dreams when i go to sleep i see and hold you in my dreams and it's it is beautiful i can't wait for the dreams that i have to, of our life together to become reality so they have to you know before they go to sleep they just visualize you being together and thinking about what your future is going to be like together and they want this so badly now they want this dream to become reality they want this in the physical they don't want to keep this to themselves anymore they want to actually live the dream not to just dream to actually live it and make it happen and at the bottom of the deck, we have awakening. The love that we share has brought major changes in my life. It's awakened me to the truth of who I really am. Yes. You coming into each other's life has awakened you to what true, pure, unconditional love is. The greatest love always to love yourself. And they know that that's the reason why you've come into each other's life. And by your experiences that you've had on your journey... By your awakening, you know that, and this physical person knows that you're going to be awakening so many people and blessing and gifting so many people around you because of the work that you have done within. And by you physically being with this person, as I said earlier, he's putting new templates in place, moving away from rules and regulations and things have to be a certain way. Sharing the message of what is important is love. Not conditional love, unconditional love is the message that you'll be sharing. So I'm going to be using the Divine Masculine Messages of Love from Beautiful Liz. What else is it that this beautiful physical person that's come into your life wants to share and express to you? Your other self, your true self. Your divine masculine, what is it they want you to know right now in this moment if you're listening and viewing this reading? 
Let's see what's going to come through. I'm transforming, yes. You know that they're transforming because you're transforming. Give me time. And at the bottom of the deck is, I've been watching you. So the physical person is actually keeping a close eye on you. And a deeper message is, you've been watching yourself. You have this awareness. <laughs> but, you know, the physical person, your, your, your other self that come into your life, they're watching you. And that could be on social media. And if you haven't got social media, it could be where they live close by to you. But that's why it's always important you put it into your situation and only take what resonates and leave, so, and leave the rest, sorry. And give me time. So to be patient with this physical person and to be patient with yourself. The only time what we feel impatient and we want things to go a lot quicker than they're actually going is when we're not trusting, when we're not present. Know that this physical person is transformed because you know what's going on within you. And you will come back together with this physical person in divine timing. When you actually let go of timing and you focus on the present moment and you focus on yourself. And when you're focusing on yourself, that's where your divine counterpart is anyway. Your divine muscle because you're one. So they are changing. And they're putting these... And they're putting these dreams that they have, they're taking action, making the dreams happen in the physical. So I'm going to be using messages from your other self now, my beautiful deck, to see what else comes through. What else is it that your true self, your divine masculine, would love to share and express to you right now in this moment from their heart space? Nice, clear message. What is it that you need to know right now, divine feminine? Let's see. Thank you for loving me so deeply. <laughs> so they can feel this love because they're allowing this love. And they're so grateful for you. They're so grateful that you have actually awakened them to what's really important and to the greatest love of all is to love themselves. They're living their life so differently and they, and they just really appreciate you and they've never been loved like this that's why it's so deep and i want to make passionate love to you so the sacred love making energy is present which come through big time in the other dm to df i did on saturday i think that one went up so yeah you're feeling this more and more because the purity, because of this purification, you, you've cleared what no longer serves you. So this gets more and more intense, and the Kundalini is rising. The sacral, um, the sacral chakra is activated, and it's just about going with this, allowing these intense sensations. And this physical person is feeling this way. They want to make passionate love to you, and this isn't just about passionate love making in the you know the physical way this is about just being with you loving you because they're so grateful for the way you you love them so deeply throughout everything you're the one person that they know that loves them because it's true pure unconditional love and because it, you are their other self but they do have this urge they want to make passionate love to you and it does get stronger the more we go on this journey when we're clearing just thinking of you fills me with butterflies so they they're feeling that that butterfly feeling excitement nerves bit of anxiety all of those things because you know this love <laughs> is so beautiful so unique and they think when they think about you they just get that sensation in their stomach they get butterflies so that's beautiful and I have dreams about you which goes with here so this isn't you know they could be sit having like dreams about you and like they dream about you all the time they dream about the future they dream about making love to you passionately and you know they're thinking <laughs> wherever they're going whatever they're doing you're with them the same as whatever you're doing wherever you're going your divine counterpart is with you you can feel that you don't have to be thinking about what they're doing, what they're not doing. 
you just know that they're with you. And that's hard to explain to anybody. And that's when we start thinking we're crazy. We're like, what? What's going on? But you, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, whatever room you're going in, you can feel this, <laughs> your other self with you because you're one. And you're beautiful inside and out. <laughs> yes, you are beautiful inside and out. And you're aware, you're waking up to this. You're seeing your beauty. You're seeing yourself from a whole new place with new fresh eyes. And this physical person, your true self, sees this beauty. Not only what's, you know, how you look on the outside, the beauty that is within you. So I'm gonna use one more deck and that's gonna be Divine Muskin Secrets, my deck, to see what else is gonna come through. <laughs> so they're dreaming and they're making this dream come true. They don't want to just daydream and dream. They want this to be like to experience this in the physical now. What else is it that the Divine Muslim would love to share and express to the Divine Feminine? Nice, clear message. I'm feeling so emotional today. So they're feeling emotional and we are in cancer season and the reading that I did yesterday, a lot of Pisces energy come through. So that is about more emotions and we've we, we really been pushed to actually feel, to release the blocks. I've been working through all my insecurities that I have been hiding from you. So there may have been some insecurities that you you haven't been aware of, beautiful soul that's watching. And again, that's what you've been working through. The stuff that's been deep within you that's created this feeling of insecurity, of not feeling good enough because you think you have to be a certain way and you just... You didn't want to share maybe with anybody about your insecurities. You've had to work through those as well. And this physical person may come across to you as if they're confident and they're full of themselves and that they've got it all together. There's some hidden insecurities that you didn't know about. And in this preparation, they've been working through it because you've been working through yours. And you may have shared, you know, divine feminines that some of your insecurities with this physical person, your divine masculine. But because you've actually faced them, that's why they're they're facing the insecurities that they've actually hidden from you. And I'm going to get one more. I feel empty when you're not with me. So they do miss you. And you are everything and more I could ever dream or wish for. Everything that they've dreamed of, Everything they've wished for, you have blown their mind because you're more than that, than what they've ever dreamed of. They can't believe that you are true and this whole experience is true. And it feels so good. It feels amazing. And because of previous program and condition, we, we are so frightened that it's going to be taken away from us. And we think that it's not right that we feel that way because we're preparing ourselves for it always to go wrong because we were, we were just seeing things from fear. You are their dream come true, and more than that, their wish fulfilled. And you are your own dream come true. You are your wish fulfillment when you're coming from soul, when you're in your truth, divine feminines. And you feel the same as well. The love that you feel for this physical person is something that you've never ever felt before. And you just think, well, it is so, it's so frightening because you love them so much. And we think it's going to be taken away from us, that we're going to get hurt. And we don't deserve our dreams and wishes to come true. That's all changed during this preparation. And for some of you, it's changing because that could be still present within you where you just think, oh, well, this is too good to be true. I've got it wrong. I feel the majority of you that have been viewing my readings recently that you are in this place. 
and you're opening yourself up to receive this beautiful wish come true, a beautiful gift from God, because you know what this is really all about. <laughs> so I do hope it resonates and I do hope it's been supportive for you, beautiful soul that's watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day or evening, whatever time it is, wherever you're living in the world right now, and that you're really taking care of yourself. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying?